Confident is never about the way we talk or the way you dress or the way you interact with people. I know who I am. I believe that I'm that person that I am. And I am exactly that person that I am. Welcome to Lulu's Talk Series. I am very excited for this amazing and wonderful new journey. It's been a minute, it's been a while since I make sit down videos. I used to make a lot and different topics and it has been incredible. Alhamdulillah, I really enjoyed that era of mine. I am so happy to be back with new style and a whole different title. Lulu's Talk Series is uh, a sit down video and it's gonna be talking about different issues and just a lot of things so i'm just so excited and i cannot wait for us to learn from each other to like express what is in our heart and to work through all our issues and all that so the first topic of today our first series uh our first episode is going to be on how to build your confidence i don't know but it's very hard for me to step my legs in a building maybe school or a community of people it's very hard for me to be with someone for like more than two hours without that person complimenting my confidence and notes i have anxiety i have depression and i have other mental health like issues that i don't want to like talk about but all this did not stop me from leaving that I am who exactly I think I am so I think it's a high time to share my secret with you and uh, I think you're gonna need a pen or a paper or anything that you can just write the points down because I promise you you are going to learn something new today so let's go with the first and the most important key that I'm going to share with you guys is your confidence strongly depend on the definition you give confidence according to yourself what is confident according to you what is confident what what do you think is confidence is it the way you talk is it the way you dress is it the way you interact with people what do you think is confident like what makes you feel like yes i am confident and if i do not do this that means i'm not confident enough or i am not feeling enough of myself for me confident is act of knowing who I am I study myself there is nobody in this world that is going to know you better than yourself nobody is going to know you better than yourself so you know what you are capable of doing you know what you love you know what you hate you know your limitations you know all the things that are good for you Confident is never about the way we talk or the way you dress or the way you interact with people. Don't rely your confidence on all this. Give a confident, a standard definition. Give a confident, a standard reason on you. So it's going to be in everything. When you just restrict your confidence on the way you talk or the way you dress or the way you interact with people, what about the other side? What about... Your relationship with your parents? What about your relationship with your God? What about all the things? So don't restrict your confidence in just the way you dress or the way you talk or the way you interact with people. As we are just poor with social media, that the way you talk or the way you dress or you show your body or all these kind of things, we just, this generation just rely, we just rely our confidence on that. And confidence is never about that. Confidence is about you knowing who you are believing that you are that person that you are and don't ever bring comparison to your life when you are trying to build your confidence comparison and confidence never go together you just have to take one either you continue comparing your life your achievements your everything with people or you choose to be confident the top secrets of my confidence that i'm going to talk about right now I know who I am. I believe that I'm that person that I am. And I am exactly that person that I am. The top three things that really help me in the journey of building my confidence are number one, I don't 
consider life as a race or a competition space or something else. We all have different timing of doing things. Maybe I achieve something today and you're going to achieve something different. It's never meant to me to achieve everything together. Like, I'm successful in this, I have to be successful. In no, I love my failures. I always love my failures. And I studied a lot. I learned a lot of lessons. I, it just changed my life. The second in is opinion. We all know how strong and powerful opinions are in our life. When it comes to myself, when it comes to me, like me, the only opinion that matters is mine and no one else. When I wake up today and decide to wear something like red, look at myself in the mirror and say like, I should look so good today. That's my opinion. That opinion is going to serve as like a protection. When I stub my legs outside, whatever someone is going to say, negative or opposite of what I think, what my opinion like opposite of my opinion all i'm going to hear is my opinion i don't care i am the decider of my life just go and focus on yours so be the decider of your own life choose yourself as the only person that's going to be giving yourself an opinion the third thing is failure i am not afraid to fail because it's not and never the end of a story. It's always the beginning of something amazing to me. I learn a lot of places from my failures. So when I'm going to do something, I just do it with a very open mind that maybe I'm going to win. It's okay and I'm going to celebrate my achievement. And even if I fail, it's a blessing. I'm definitely going to learn something new. Maybe I'm going to get something better and better and better and better and better than I ever think I'm going to get. So this really, 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 really helped me a lot. Failures are not the end of our lives. People's opinion doesn't matter. If it's like match with our opinion, that's okay. And if it don't, flash it away. Just focus on your life. You are the main character of your own story. Don't consider people's achievements as a delay of yours. Everything is going to happen in the right time. It is never too late. It is never too fast. Just be okay and find absolute peace of mind in everything that you're going to do. Do it because you want to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because you deserve to do it. Make yourself the reason of everything that is surrounded around you. I look good for myself. I eat healthy for myself. Remove the bulk of Larry's up pleasing people we are not born to be perfect be always welcoming failures and winning in your life it doesn't have to be the way you plan it doesn't have to be the way it is in other people's life so just be happy that moment of uncertainty or not finding peace of mind on what you're doing that's when people find our weakness and think that we are not confident enough so don't let that energy just like negative energy to your life so do it because you are the only reason you need to motivate yourself consider confident as the only option you have to be confident or you have to be confident you have to put yourself out there you have to eat you have to take your time you have to take good care of yourself you don't have to be your life have, don't have to be the way people think it's gonna be your life don't have to be the general formula for everyone so just relax just relax you are not fighting you are not a race you are not under pressure to just put yourself out there just to make yourself feel not confident when something is okay in your life maybe it's not okay in somebody's life so what is okay in that person's life may not be okay in your life so don't 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 bring the formula up comparing it's going to take away all your peace and time and you're going to end up not doing anything else if i say i'm going to continue talking about confidence i'm going to make like 10 hours videos so thank you so much for watching this episode and i hope you enjoy like and you learn something new from what i say 
if you have any topic in mind or what you think we talk more about if you think this is not enough for us we can just make a part two of this because i think i have more 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 things to talk about i don't i just don't want it to be boring because it's the first episode so thank you so much for watching and my name is aisha once again because i know a lot of people are going to see me here for the first time my name is aisha and uh, i'm so excited to introduce my little talk diaries um and look talk series with you guys so see you in the next episode. I love you.